Hey everyone, what's going on? Rami here from Arch Web Design. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we doubled our closing rate using a killer new sales proposal. And I'm gonna show you the six elements you need in your sales proposal to get similar results. Let's dive right in. So I'll give you the logic behind why we created this in the first place. Now, we were jumping on sales calls and a lot of the objections we were getting are things like, you know, all right, cool, we like you guys, but you're a little bit too expensive and we're gonna to talk to a few other agencies and compare pricing. So I was trying to think of a way to kind of just show our worth right there on the sales call and get them to, you know, book the sale or, or decide to go with us right away. So my thought was to create just a killer sales proposal that looked awesome. It's going to have some uh, UX uh, practices that maybe are not recommended, but it, we're really going for a wow factor here, okay? And so we want to throw everything out the door and just kind of do something different. So you'll see here, obviously we'll start with the, the business name. This is one of our past websites, highlighting some of the things that we do best, like performance, you know, conversion rate optimization, and then we also use Webflow and Figma there. Now, the first thing that you need in your sales proposal is social proof, okay? So you see it starting right here and you'll see it throughout the whole proposal. So you see client logos, testimonials, case studies, things, people you've worked with, things like that. So that's number one, all right? We have this cool banners going, uh, highlighting our conversion rate optimization uh, expertise. And the second thing you'll want for your proposal is past work. So showing how awesome you are, basically. So this is a really cool show reel we had created recently showing, you know, some of our websites and you can just see it, it just shows a level of professionalism and quality that, you know, not a lot of other agencies can, can match at this point. Now, again, more social proof, the more you can provide the better. So you can see here, they can just kind of click through see some examples, some case studies. You also wanna make sure to highlight some numbers. So yes, a, a beautiful new website is awesome, but how did this website help you get more sales? Okay, so, you know, for example, this one here, we helped Beacon increase their sales by 52%. And you wanna really highlight those numbers. So how can the website or how can the service we provide you give you an ROI or bring you more revenue, leads, whatever you're looking for. Again, more examples of our past work. Here's like a before and after. So just showing, you know, the massive difference that our service can provide. Again, more social proof. So reviews are another way of showing social proof. That is a good way, more logos never hurts more work that we've done and then number three that you want to include is a quick review of your process okay now this part you don't want to go into too much detail you just want something quick just you know three or four quick steps here's what we do here's how we do it and you don't want to get into the nitty-gritty here because you're trying to sell them they don't really care how you do it. They just want to get the result. Okay. So, you know, just showing a quick three steps of your process shows that you have a process and that you're streamlined, but you don't want to just get into the brass tacks there. All right. And so this is what we did here and notice how we included these custom elements. So our designers created these animations. They just really, you know, take, take the design up to the next level. Okay. Take it up a notch and just show, you know, we're not just cookie cutter and putting stock icons in there, basically. The fourth thing you wanna show is return on investment. So how can you get them an ROI on their investment, okay? So for us, we have this cool calculator where you can put in some numbers here. So, you know, website investment, what's the maintenance plan gonna cost? So basically costs, and then some numbers we ask the client to fill in like their average client value, or you know average client retention site traffic etc so let's put this one 5k their current conversion rate the closing rate on the calls um then then this is their future conversion rate with us which is the average that we see and again this is an average not the best so 16x roi after one year i mean i would take that any day 
Now, the fifth element you want to include is your packages or what services you offer. So we have a few packages here. We have three, and we highlight them here. We like to be very transparent, the pricing up front, uh, exactly what's included in each package, the timelines. Um, my opinion is the more transparent you can be, the better. Some people don't believe that. Some people like to hide the price until later. Uh, that's your call, but we believe in transparency here, so that's what we like to do. And then finally, the sixth element, and maybe the most important, is your offer and guarantee, okay? So what is the offer? What are you gonna provide the client? And what is the guarantee that they're gonna get that? So for example, for us, we offer to double your main conversion rate, or we give you your money back, or we keep working for free, your choice. So you see here, we have an offer, which is doubling your conversion rate on your website, which in my opinion is a great offer and our clients really you know, obviously value that as well uh, because that means double the leads, double the revenue, okay? Now, the reason we're comfortable offering 2X is because we typically see a three to five X increase in conversion rates, okay? So 2X is on the low end and you know, if we don't get that, it would be very shocking and it's actually never happened, knock on wood. And then the last thing that I like to highlight is just that we donate 5% of our profits to charity. And I don't do that to brag. I do that because I want to get the right kind of clientele, people that appreciate that. So if you're someone who doesn't appreciate that, then probably not a great fit for us. But if you do, then that is, you know, the kind of person that we want to work with or the kind of company that we want to work with. All right, so just scrolling down to the end of this here, just to show you. Um, and the final thing we have here is just more social proof. So again, the name of the game is social proof, showing why you're valuable, showing who you've worked with, because people trust other people to make buying decisions, especially you know when the price point is a significant amount. So you wanna just put as much social proof as you can on there. And we have both text and video testimonials here, so whatever you like. And then the final thing we have here is of course a call to action. So what we do is we typically go through this on a call together and you know, some clients will, will say, yes, we're ready to go on the call, but some clients won't. So we send them this and we wanna make it as easy for them to move forward. So all they have to do is click here and we put several calls to action throughout the page starting after the packages section because um, it just makes sense. You know. They, they need to know all the information before they buy. So we let them get started. Uh, we try to give them as many opportunities for that as possible. And that's it. Those are the six elements you need to create a killer sales proposal. If you guys have any questions or comments, just drop them in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time.